first unboxing of 2026 couldn't be more exciting. The first zero purging printer from Bamboo Lab, the H2C. So let's take a look together at all this printer is capable of. Starting with the side box clips, like this one, and this one. At the top, we will find the accessory box with all the extra pieces that we have, the tools and other things. We have the manual, which is very important because it's a different printer that I am used to with the Bamboo Lab machines. Just remove the top glass and from now on, I'm going to follow the manual because I don't want to forget anything. So it's a device that I I'm not used to, it's the first time that I'm using, so I'm trying to follow all the steps so I don't skip anything. That's what we need. Remove the package, done. Remove the plastic, the base is done. Remove the glass, done. And I didn't do this part, so let's start. Next step. After removing all the plastic, we are going to remove the AMS from inside of the printer, removing all the screws. In order to do that, we are going to need our first tool from the toolbox. Let's see. We have some grease in here, we have the rents, we have some tool to clean the nozzle, and also an extra nozzle as well. And we have some hot end kits in here 0 0.2 0 0.4 4 4 and 0 0.6 those are the nozzles from the vortex system those are the brand new ones and these guys is something cool because we have wireless information passing from this to the machine Just remove the AMS. Now let's focus on finishing removing those guys. Then later we start to assemble this one. In order to remove this down part that holds the AMS, you need to remove four screws. You are only able to see two on the front, but we have two more in the back. And now we can remove this plastic part. Now we need to remove the screws that hold the build plate down. So let's remove those in the front. Now we are going to release the hot end rack. Guys, take a look at this. I wasn't expect this movement to be so, so smooth. Like uh, I was expecting something like cracking, but it's like super smooth. Now we are going to release the X axis so we can remove this one. First look at the H2C tool head. As we have on the H2D and H2S, this key is responsible to make the power go through your printer. So you need to insert this in order for your machine to work. There's no such a thing as an easy unboxing. We just find out our HOC is not compatible with our power supply on our region. So we are going to use a power transformer in order to finish the video. And later on, I will find out if I need to replace my printer or not. After this little issue with the power, now we have two power cables. None of them are compatible with the Brazilian pattern. We need to find another one. All right, guys, I think it's going to work like this. We have an external spool in here, and this one is going to be at the left extruder, which is not going to change 
with anyone. But the right one is directly connected to the AMS. So all the filaments are going to switch in here and the nozzles are going to switch as well. And that's why we don't have any purge between them. All right, guys, how is it going to work? We have in here the input of our power transformer, which is going to be connected on the power supply. Okay, in here we have 2020 volts. In here we have 110, which is the power that we need for our A to C. Let's just hope I'm right about this one. Are you ready? All right, no sign of fire or smoke. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous. We are at other regions. Now let's put the STLflix password. It's QR code. All right. Let's put the name on it. H2C STLflix. Now let's join to the experience improvement program. Okay. Let's just make sure we removed all of this stuff. Yes, we did. And we are going to calibrate everything. I didn't insert the nozzles. Should I do that before putting the printer on? Let me check. It didn't demand me to, so I need, I'm going to do this later. So let's start the calibration. Now guys, how it's going to work? We are going to use all the 0.4 nozzles that we have, which is three, and we have another one already installed on the machine. And that's what we need for using the AMS. So we have four colors in there, we are going to have four nozzles. Later on, we can test it with different sizes, like 0.6 and 0.2. Right now, I'm not going to use this because I not even know if this is available already on Bamboo Studio. We only can use, according to the manual, the same sizes nozzles at this moment. Now we have a message for calibrating the Vortec. So you're going to calibration. Let's start. And we have a nozzle on the tool head. Okay, next. Now we need the empty hack at this moment. So we are wrong. <laughs> okay, let's start. Now you have the options for you to put the new nozzles in here. I already put one in number two, three. And now let's put another one in the number five. Let's go next. Number one is empty. Number three, uh, no, uh, no. Read all. Okay. Congratulations, you have completed the rotten installation. You can now start printing. Now we have 0.4 at the number two position, 0.4 on three and also five. And we have the 0.4 on the tool head. In this first print, we are going to use three colors. We have gray and black on the AMS and we have the white one on the external spool. All right, guys, first print. As usual, we are going to use a anti gray this time and as you as you can see we don't have any flush volumes in here so we are not going to waste anything besides the prime tower all right now as you can see we have the white pla on the left nozzle already loaded up and now we are going to put the gray one at the nozzle that is already on the tool head and the number two nozzle is going to be the black filament and the slicer select itself these options. I didn't need to put anything, so let's just send the file. We've just finished our first anti printer on the HUC and the surface looks amazing. We did have a few issues though, some stringing during the color changes, a stain here on his face and a small line on the eye. 
I believe this one is temperature related. The filament is white and on top of that it's matte. So it really needs to be printed at least at 220 degrees Celsius. In the default H2C profile in Bamboo Studio, it's set to 210 degrees. So for my next test, I'm going to increase the temperature and then figure out how to eliminate this kind of effects during nozzle changes, so we don't get these little bits of residue. Let in the comments which test you want to see on the H2C. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and I see you in the next one.